score in seven now years. Now then, now then. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The citizens of River City and I would like to welcome you to tonight's performance of Meredith Wilson's The Music Man, in which my wife, Eulalie McKechnie Shin, will take a leading role. Ooh. Ah, music to my ears. Before we commence tonight's spectacle, the school board has a few reminders for you. Please remain from any flash photography and silence your telephones. <laughs> video recordings of any kind are prohibited. Wait, JC, what is a video? Ah, uh, never mind. Ah. Please enjoy the performance and keep an eye out for any swindlers that may be running through town. with the heat. Credit is no good for an ocean salesman. Board! All aboard! Why not? What's the matter with credit? It's old-fashioned. Charlie, you're an anvil salesman. Your firm give credit? No, sir. Nor anyone else. River City! River City next! Cash for the merchandise. Cash for the button hook. Cash 
for the shot good, cash for the hard good. Cash for the soft goods, cash for the fancy goods. Cash for the nuggets and the piggins and the firkins. Cash for the hogshead, cask and demijohn. Cash for the crackers and the pickles and the fly papers. Look, what do you talk? 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 What do you get it? What do you talk? You can talk, you can talk. You can bigger, you can talk. You can bigger, bigger, bigger. You can talk, you can talk. You can talk, 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 talk. Bigger, bigger, bigger. You can talk all you want about it's different than it was. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. But you gotta know the territory. White to metal key forward, meet the trouble, make the people wanna go, wanna get, wanna get up and go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, twenty-two, twenty-three miles to the county seat. Hurry up, sir. Who's gonna patronize a little bitty two by four kind of store anymore? What do you talk? What do you talk? Where'd you get it? Not the model T at all. Take a gander at the store, at the modern store, at the present day store, at the present day modern departmentalized grocery store. What do you talk? 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 Where'd you get it? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? Where'd you get it? You can talk. You can talk and bicker, you can talk and bicker, you can talk, 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 bicker, 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 you can talk all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, but you got another territory. Why, it's the you need a biscuit, made the trouble, you need a, you need a, put the crackers in a package, in a package, but you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package, made the cracker barrel obsolete, 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 obsolete. Cracker barrel went out the window with the mail pouch, cut, plug, charmed by the stove. It changed the approach of a traveling salesman and made it pretty hard. No, it didn't, no, it didn't, but you got another territory. <laughs> Gone, gone. Gone with the hogs and cask and Danny John. Gone with the sugar barrel, pickle barrel, milk pan. Gone with the tub and the pail and the tears. Ever meet a fella by the name of Hill? 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 No! Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Never heard of any salesman, Hill. Now he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory? What the fellow's line? Never worried about his line. Never worried about his line. Or the cracker barrel being up to leave. Or the you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package. Or the model P4. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Never worried about his line. Never worried about his line. Or God taunts it. He's just a bang beat, bell ringing beat. Big hog, great go, necker, not the rich for it every time a bull's eye sales. It's sacrifice for Harold Hill, Harold Hill. Tell us what's his line, what's his line? He's a fake and he doesn't know the territory. Look, what do you talk, what do you talk, what do you talk, what do you talk? He's a music man. He's a what, he's a what? He's a music man and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big drum bones and the red tat drums and the big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo with uniform too with a shiny gold braid on the coat and a big red strap running. Well, I don't know much about bands, but I do. No, you can't make a living selling big trombones. No, sir. Mandolin picks perhaps, and here and there, too, sir. No, the fellow so bands. Boys bands. I don't know how he does it. But he lives like a king, and he dallies, and he gathers, and he flushes, and he shines. And when the man dances, certainly, boys, what up? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he doesn't know the territory. illegal in this state. Board! All right, if you're all through, I'll tell you about Harold Hill. Say, you really know Harold Hill? Never saw him in my life, but I do know this much. He's given every one of us a black eye. And after he's worked the town over, the next salesman to arrive gets automatically tarred and feathered and sent out to the city limits on a rail. <laughs> <laughs> but why should he get run out of town on a rail? Because in order to sell band instruments and instruction books and uniforms, it's a guarantee to teach the kids how to play. <laughs> well? And to form them kids into a band with himself as the leader. Well, what's wrong with that? He don't know one note from another, that's what's wrong <laughs> with that. He can't tell a bass drum from a pipe organ. I'll catch up with that swiddling two-bit thimble rigger and when I do ask you and I'm so loud! You're mad, Johnny. <laughs> sure like to be around when you catch up uh, with him. Uh, well, it won't be on this trip, not in Iowa. Even the great Professor Hill, Harold Hill, will try to sell them neck boat Hawkeyes out there. Boy! Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Well, gentlemen, you intrigue me. I think I ought to give Iowa a try. Don't believe I caught your name? <laughs>
nobody come to see me. Cousin Will never come, Aunt Bertha never come. Aunt Bertha's dead. She wouldn't have come anyway. We can be cold as a falling thermometer in December in you ask about our weather in July. And we're so by the sun we can stand. Time to know the floor a week at a time and never see eye to eye. Lord, we'll give you our shirts and all that to go. in a rig for Sunday if you could accommodate me. I'd expect you want to see the man in charge Pop. of hiring rigs. Who is late as you? <coughs> hey, Gregory! Marcellus! <laughs> you old son of a gun, what? Shh! <laughs> but Greg! Professor Hill's the name. Harold Hill. <laughs> but Greg, why didn't you tell me you was coming? I didn't know I was myself. Besides, how'd I know you'd end up in some little tank town like this? You're a pretty big slicker, you and your business with me. Too many close shaves the way you work. Besides, I got me a nice, comfortable girl. Ethel Toffemeyer, boss's niece. Gone legitimate, huh? I knew you'd come to no good. <laughs> What's the new pitch? Bow. <laughs> You're not back in the band business. I heard you was in steam automobiles. I was. What happened? Someone actually invented one. <laughs> no. Now give me the low down here, Mars. Well, you'll never get anywhere with these stubborn Iowans, Greg. Besides, we've got a stuck-up music teacher who'll expose you before you get your grip unpacked. Male or female? The music teacher? She's the librarian. Female. Perfect. Just what I wanted to hear. You have to point her out to me if she comes by. All right. How are you going to start the pitch? Uh, same old way. My first step is to get River City out of this menacing trouble it's in. But River City isn't in any trouble. I'll have to create some. <laughs> I'm going to create a desperate need for a boys' band. Tell me, what's new around here? What can I use? Nothing. Except the billiard parlor just put up a new pool table. Have they ever had a pool table before? Nope. Only billiards. <laughs> That'll do. Now remember, Marks. If the music teacher comes by, point her out to me. Music teacher. Music teacher. Ah, Mr. Dunlop. Yep. Either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are unaware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here I said trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a beard player. Certainly mighty proud to say it. I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Help you cultivate horse sense and a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take a try to give an ironclad leap to yourself from a three-railed billiard shot? But just as I say, it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a ball line game. I say that any boob can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that slaw. The first big steps on the road to the depths of degradé. I say first it's medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And listen to something out of town, Jasper. Here I tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sit down and ride on the horse. Would you like to see some stuck-up jockey boy setting on Dan Patch? Make your blood boil? Well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in the table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum. With a capital B, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. And all week long, your River City youth will be frittering away. I said, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away there, noontime, supper time, chore time too. With the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions pulled, but a screen door pass with a beefsteak pounded. Never mind pumping any water till your parents are caught with a cistern empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbockers, shirt tail young ones, headed for the pool hall window of the pool. You got trouble, folks! Right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. 
Now I know all you folks are the right kind of parents, so I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on when they're loafing around that hall? They be trying out Bevo, trying out Cubex, trying out TaylorMade like cigarette fiends, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breath with Sensen one fine night. They leave the pool call, headed for the dance of the armory. Libertine men and scarlet women and rag time. Same as music, it'll drag your son, your daughter, with the arms of the jungle, animal instinct, mass hysteria, friends. The idle brain is the devil's playground trouble. Oh, we got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T in that front, with P in that stands for pool. That stands for pool. We surely got trouble. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Our children's children gotta have trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble
back at Shakespeare and all the other high polluting drinks. Mom, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of changing every subject. I haven't changed the subject. I was talking about that strange what a stranger. In the suitcase, you may be a very last chance. Mom, do you think I'd a little common masher? Not really, Mama. I have my standards where men are concerned, and I have no intention. I know all about your standards, if you don't mind my saying. So there's not a man alive who could hope to measure up to that blend upon the bunny and St. Patch and Noah Webster. You can cook it for yourself out of your Irish imagination, your Iowa stubbornness, and your library full of books. Now, if that isn't the best I ever heard. Thank you. Can I have a drink, please? May, May I, I have... have a drink, please? Yes, dear. It's after dark. Is that any way to come into the house? Hello. <laughs> that won't do at all. I'll have a kiss from me, boy. The lady over there is your sister, young man. Hello, Winthrop. Winthrop, where's your manners? I'm having a party on Saturday. Will you please come? I would especially like it very much if you'd come. Winthrop? Well, Winthrop, Amaryllis asked you to her party? Are you going or aren't you? No. <laughs> no what? No, thank you. You know the little girl's name? He won't say Amaryllis because of the yes, because of his lisp. He's ashamed. Do you know all about his lisp, Amaryllis? Well, Winthrop. I bet he won't say it. No, thank you, Amaryllis. <laughs> Amaryllis. Amaryllis. He's crying. Why does he get so mad at people? Just because he lisps. It's not just because he lisps, dear. That's just part of it. What's the other part? Never mind. It's just that he doesn't talk very much. Not even to you and your mother? No, dear. We all have to be a little patient. I'm patient, even though he doesn't ever talk to me. But I do him. Every night I say goodnight to him on the evening star. You have to do it the very second you see it, too. Or it doesn't count. Good night, my Winthrop. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> there, darling, don't cry. You have lots of time. If not Winthrop, there will be someone else. Never. I'll end up an old maid, like you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Marion. Can I play my crosshand piece? May Can I? Can I play my crosshand piece? You may. See? Without a sweetheart, you have no one to say good night to on the evening star. I know, Amaryllis. For the time being, just say goodnight, my someone. You can put the name in when the right someone comes along. All right, it's better than nothing. Yes, it is. Now you can play your crosshand piece. Now I may play my crosshand piece.
I'm sure we're all grateful to my wife, Eulalie McKechnie Shin, for leading us in the singing. And to J.C. Squires for his fine st stereo op optician slides. And to Ethel Doffelmeyer, our fine player, piano player, piano player, pia piano. As mayor of River City, I welcome you, River citizens, to the 4th of July exercises set up here at Madison Gymnasium on account of the weather. Four score. Four score. The members of the school board will now present a patriotic tableau. The members of the school board will not present a patriotic tableau. Some disagreement about costumes, I suppose. Instead, the Watan Yi girls of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will present a spectacle, my wife, in which my wife, Yulele McKechnie Shin, will take a leading part. What are you? 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 <laughs> <laughs> who is a disgrace to our city. Boo! <laughs> Four score and seven. The Payne's fireworks spectacle, last days of Pompeii, will take place provided the rain stops by 9.30. It will be out in Masson Picnic Park in the farm meadow across the creek from the pest house. How can it be raining? Didn't the Gazette predict fair? Sure it did, Ewart. That's why we all prepared for a storm. Oh, come on. The Gazette's accurate most of the time, and you know it, JC. You wouldn't last very long in the banking business being accurate most of the time. We're not talking about just a minute. The banking. Let's have order here. Order. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Number eight's late again tonight. Oh, I make her early. She's late, all right. She's right on time. What's the matter with your watch? What's the matter Look with your watch? Look at my watch! Look at my watch! The school board stop bickering in public! Listen, all I said was... Never mind! <clears throat> Four score... Remember there was a pool table in town! That's what I heard! <laughs> well, you allow me to get on with the exercises! Who Is cares about the exercises? <sighs> Let's hear about this pool table! Yeah! yeah. 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 Let's protect our children! Yeah! Resist sin and corruption! Yeah! Smite that devil and keep our young boys pure! Yeah! Friends, may I have your attention, please? Your attention, please. I can deal with the trouble, friends, with the wave of my hand, this very hand. Please observe me, if you will. I'm Professor Harold Hill, and I'm here to organize the River City Boys Band. Oh, think, my friends, how could any pool table ever hope to compete with a gold trombone? Ra 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 da 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 ra ra. Remember, my friends, what a handful of trump players did to the famous, fabled walls of Jericho. Oh, the billiard parlor walls come a tumbling down. Oh, a band will do it, my friends. Oh, yes, I said a boys' band. Do you hear me? I said River City's gonna have her boys' band, and I mean she needs it today. Cause Professor Harold Hill's on hand, 
River City's gonna have her boys band. As sure as the Lord made little green apples, and that band's gonna be in uniform. Johnny, Willie, Teddy, Fred, and they'll hear the glitter of crashing cymbals, the thunder of rolling drums, the shimmer of trumpets. Ta da! -da! And they'll feel something akin to the electric thrill I once felt when Gilmore, Liberati, Pat Conway, the great creator, and John Philip Sousa all came to town on that very same historic day. Seventy-six trombones led the big parade With a hundred and ten cornets close at hand They were followed by rows and rows Of the finest virtuosos The cream of every famous band Seventy-six trombones caught the morning sun With a hundred and ten cornets right behind There were more than a thousand reeds Springing up like weeds There were horns of every shape and kind there were copper bottom timpani and horse platoons Thundering, thundering louder than before Double bell euphoniums and big bassoons Each bassoon having its big fat say There were fifty mounted cannons in the battery Thundering, thundering louder than before Clarinets of every size and trumpeters Who'd improvise a full octave higher than the score
for emergency action. I haven't seen Iowa people so excited since the night Frank Gosh and Shranger Lewis lay on the map for three and a half hours without moving a muscle. <laughs> oh. Never mind, I want that Spellbinder's credential. Grab that hoodlum, he almost blew up Mrs. Shin. Dewey Clyde, let me go. Thanks, Professor, I have to make an example of him. Whatever he does, the gang does. You wild kid ya, hanging down Main Street after my oldest girl. His father's one of them day laborers south of town, tagging down Main Street after my oldest girl. I wasn't either tagging. Don't you contradict me. We was just walking together, Dewey Clyde. You watch your phraseology. I know what you's doing, my little Gracie senior. Now you stay away from my oldest girl, or you'll hear from me till who laid the rails. <clears throat> Hill, I want to talk to you about this band thing over at City Hall, Monday morning, 10 o'clock sharp. Men, I want that Spellbinder's credentials. Constable, I'll be responsible for the boy. You don't know this kid. He's tough, but he's got a game waiting outside. Oh, I'll be careful. Tommy, I'd like to talk to you about the band. The band? Well, that's for the little kids. Not you being in the band. Your men can't be mine, aren't you? Ever do anything with, uh, perpetual motion? <laughs> oh, I nearly had that a couple of times. <laughs> you did? You're my man. Do you realize no one has ever invented a music holder for a marching piccolo player? Nowhere to keep the music. Oh, Dealey Cly, oh, I wonder where I could get some wire from. Check your basement. That's where people keep wire. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, Tommy, Tommy. Constable, I'll show you how to break up a gang. Excuse me, miss. What is your name? Sinita. I didn't have any idea you was beckoning me. Zanita, do you know Tommy Gilas? Well... <laughs> Tommy, I'd like, to, I'd like you to escort this young lady home. Only accepted I'm not going home. I have to go to the library. Ye gods. And escort her home by the way of the library. By the way of the, uh... Candy kitchen. <laughs> yes, sir. Do I have to? You have to. <laughs> yes, sir. Ye gods! <laughs> <laughs> Professor, you're a pretty bright young fellow, but you made a couple mistakes, though. Oh? The mayor happens to own the billiard parlor and that new pool table. Oh. <laughs> What was my second mistake? That Danita, she's the mayor's oldest girl. <laughs> Just a minute, Professor Hill. We'd like to have your credentials. We're the school board. <laughs> Academic certificates. Nothing of the kind. We need letters and papers. Make him put up a boss. Yeah. What am I hearing? Say. Ice cream. Uh, ice cream. But I don't sing, young man. All right, talk then. Down here. Ice cream. Talk slower. Ice cream. See? Singing is only sustained talking. Now you, sir. Ice cream. Now you, sir. Ice cream. Now you, sir. All the way up there. Now, Mrs. Shin, you will never see one of these men without the other three. Oh, Professor, you're wrong. These men have hated each other for the past 15 years. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> How can there be any sin?
You don't have to live alone or anything, do no. you? No. Well, I have some wonderful caramels over at the hotel. Mr. You... Hill. Ah, uh, Professor Hill. Professor of what? At what college do they give a degree for knowing women on the street like a Saturday night rowdy at a public dance hall? Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm a conservatory man myself. Gary, Indiana, gold medal class of Ought Five. Even should that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? Another thing, Mr. Hill, not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some people in this town. I think it is only fair to tell you that I have a shelf full of reference books in there, which may very well give me some interesting information about you. Hey, Gregory! <laughs> Marcellus, don't call me Greg. How'd you make out with the music teacher? Scrumptious. Ate out of my hand the minute I tipped my hat. <laughs> she did! <laughs> Boy, did you cut a swallow tonight. For a minute, even I thought you knew something about leading a band. Just like when you used to imitate that band concert fellow back in Joplin. Oh, yeah. Ah, kid stuff. I'm in a rare form these days. Just keep an eye on me for the next four weeks. Four weeks? It only used to take ten days for the instruments to arrive. Still does. Takes four weeks for the uniforms. No, Greg. You haven't added uniforms. Uniforms and instruction books. <laughs> instructions books? But you can't pass yourself off as any music professor. I mean, not for any four Mars, weeks. Mars. I have a revolutionary new, th new system called the Think System. Well, you don't bother with the notes. But in four weeks, people are going to want to hear the music. But when the uniforms arrive, they forget about everything else. <clears throat> Just enough time for me to collect and leave. Oh, this is a refined operation, son. Got to time down to the last wave of the brake band's hand on the last train out of town. Now, Mr. Washburn, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> going to line yourself up a little canoodling, huh? Well, I... Say, I could set you up with Ethel's sister. Lovely girl. Teach a Sunday school. <laughs> Oh, no wide-eyed, eager, wholesome Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of girl spins webs, no spider ever. Now listen, boy. All, the girl who kind of trades on that security merely wants to trade my independence for her security. The only affirmative she will file refers to marching down the aisle. No golden, glorious, gleaming, pristine goddess. No, sir. For no Diana do I play fawn. I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss, how could ignorance be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz, for the lady who knows what time it is. I cheer, and I rave, for the virtue I'm too late to save. The sadder but wiser girl for me. No bright-eyed, blushing, breathless baby doll baby. No, sir, that kind of child ties knots. No sailor ever knew. I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No dewy young miss who keeps resisting. All the time she keeps insisting. No wide-eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, for she's the fisherman. I'm the fish you see. Wah! I flinch. I shy when the laugh with the delicate air goes by. I smile and I grin when the gal with a touch of sin walks in. I hope and I pray for Hester to win just one more A. The sadder but wiser girl, the girl for me. The sadder but wiser girl for me. And this is Miss Hicks. And of course you've met Miss Eulalie McKechnie Shin, our mayor's wife. Isn't it exciting, Eulalie? Oh no, I couldn't say. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> My husband will wish to investigate, I'm sure, naturally. I'm reticent. Oh yes, I'm reticent. <laughs> of course, Mr. Shin. But you do understand. Part of my music plans include a committee on the... Why, Mrs. Shin, do that again. Your foot, the way you moved it just now. I do have a bunny in there that bothers oh. me. Well, to... oh, what grace, what natural, what natural line of movement, what expression of line and grace. <laughs> Mr. Hill. You must accept the chairmanship of the ladies auxiliary for the classic dance. Mustn't she, ladies? Oh, yes, oh, you do. Every yes. move you make, Mrs. Shin, bespeaks day. <laughs> Say yes, Mrs. Shin, say yes! 
You must accept. Say yes, please, Mrs. Shin. You lay in the mechanician. Dance. Then, then you accept. Yes, indeed. And I would like to thank say you, thank that... you, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, the piano player. Marion Peru, I believe. After all, she is the librarian. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 Professor, her kind of woman doesn't belong on any committee. Of course, I shouldn't tell you this, but she advocates dirty books. Dirty books. Chaucer's dead waste. Balls. And the worst thing, of course, I should tell you this. Oh, I'll tell! Let me look on my screen, let me tell! Stop! I'll tell! She made brazen overtures to a man who never had a friend in this town till she came here. Old Miser Madison. A miser Madison. Madison Gymnasium, Madison Picnic Park, Madison Hospital. That Miser Madison? Exactly. Who was he, anyway? I should say, a show-off. He had to tell the library, too, didn't he? That's just it. When he died, he left the library building to the city. But he left all the books to her. She was seen going and coming from his place. Oh, yes, that woman made brazen overtures with a guilty charity. She had a golden glint in her eye and a silver tongue like a ton of her ring. Just melt her down and you'll reveal a bunch of dread of cold to seal here. For a woman's heart. He left River City, the library building, but he left. Give me a minute. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Farewell, ladies. It's fine, I know everything. What are you talking about? You're probably very young. Anyone can make a mistake. What? No explanations, no apologies, please. I'm only in town for a short while, and sadder but wiser girl for me. Will you please make your selection and leave? Oh, I have. Okay, what do you want to take out? The librarian. Quiet, please. Marion, you're not listening. Marbles, six dealies, eight aggies, a dozen peewees, and one big glassy with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop no. it. No, shh. Marion, Madam Librarian, what can I do, my dear, to make it clear? I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire. And the volunteer hose brigademan had to whisper the news to me. Rian. Madam Librarian. What can I say, my dear, to make it clear? I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian. Marion, 
If I stumbled and I busted my watch, you might call it. I could lie on your floor unnoticed till my body had turned to carrion. Madam Librarian. Now in the moonlight, a man could sing it. In the moonlight. And a fellow would know that his darling had heard every word of his song. The moonlight helping along. But when I try in here to make it clear, I love you madly, madly, madam librarian. Marion, it's a long lost cause. I could never win, for the civilized world accepts this unforgivable sin to be talking aloud with an librarian. Such as Marion, Madam Librarian.
I try, my dear, to make it clear. I love you madly, madly, madam librarian. Marion, it's a long lost cause. I could never win, for the civilized world accepts as unforgivable sin to be talking aloud with any librarian such as me. Rian. Ladies dance, what do you mean Tuesday nights at the high school? Marshmallow? Madam Library. Rian. Nice work today, Tommy. 11 sales and 12 tries. Tell you what, it's almost noon. Go get yourself some dinner. I'll try a couple sales myself. Goodbye, Professor. Thanks, Tommy. Just a minute here. Are you soliciting? You haven't got a license. Oh, no, Mr. Mayor. I collect doorbells. You see, this particular specimen has an unusual that, tone. That uh, flattery will not avail you. Soliciting is statutory in this county. Malfeasance without a permit. Why haven't you been over at City Hall with your references? I had just missed you. Mr. Mayor, your hand. Oh, no. What? What? The spread of your little finger. It's hereditary. It is? What does that mean? It means that your son's little finger is perfectly situated to operate the spit valve on a B-flat flugelhorn. It is? Is that good? Good? That means America has at last produced an artist who can flugel the minute waltz in 50 seconds. How can I get one of them horns? Sign right here, Mr. Mayor. That'll be $17 import fee. And just think, I could have missed this whole... I haven't got any son. You want scrupulous fly by... You want fly... You fly you, you'll be down at City Hall with your bygone papers at 3 o'clock. You mean this afternoon? I couldn't make myself any plater if I was a Quaker on his day off. Miss Baru, do you realize you have the facial characteristics of a cornet virtuoso? I don't know if I understand you entirely, Professor. It means that if your son has those same splendid cheek muscles, that firm chop, that fur, chin, by George, uh, not that he could ever be really great, you do understand, but... Is that so? And in the name of St. Bridget, why not? Well, you see, all the really great cornet players were Irish. <laughs> O'Clark, O'Mendez, O'Leary... But, Professor, we are Irish! No. Yeah. No. That clinches it. Sign here. You, your boy, was born to play the cornet. Fine, fine. It'll be seven dollars earnest money. Nothing payable by the opening of band practice. And of course, I'll need, the, I'll need the boy's measurements for his uniform. His uniform? Hello, son. Why, of course, his uniform. Not a penny will be due to delivery, which gives him four weeks to enjoy, to anticipate, to imagine, at no cost whatsoever. Never allow the demands of tomorrow interfere with the joys and pleasures of today. Would it have a, a... A stripe? Of course, my boy. One white, one wide red stripe on each side. What do you think of that? You'll have to excuse Winthrop, Professor. We can hardly get him to say three words a day, even to us. And if you can get him to play in your band, well, you'll have St. Michael's own way with you. But if anybody can do it, I'll bet you can. Out of a crowd, I'll pick you for a hod carrying, clay pipe smoking, shamrock wearing, heart playing, mavernine pinching, terrace hall minstrel singing Irishman, big govin the jabbers. Where are you from, me by? Gary, Indiana. I knew it, Gary. Where did you say? Gary, Indiana. In fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. Was she now? Why, yes. Gold medal class of Aught Five. How do you do, Miss Peru? How do you do, Mr. Hill? Peru, I knew the name sounded familiar. I 
tried to see you since the other night, but... He wants to put Winthrop in the band. We're not interested, Mama. But Marion, the boy might have his father's musical gift. He does have my jaw, you know. Oh, your husband musical. Well, I'd love to have a word with him if I could... Do you pry in on everyone's affairs like this? We're not interested. Marion. Well, that's one for and one against. Let's let the boy's father decide. The boy's father is dead. Anything else? Oh, I'm sorry. But you see, this is all the more reason why your brother should have something like this. My brother is a ten-year-old problem child who can't understand why his father was taken away. Would you care to explain it to him? He's been brooding about for two years. As to your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnival man who sells gold-painted watches and glass diamond rings? Musical tricks? Why, I... I get the feeling she likes the idea. Maybe a little cautious at first, but I admire that in a woman. Just keep me alive and I'll be back later in the week. Oh, Professor, about the boy's measurements. I make all his clothes. Sleeve 21, waist 18, crouch 14. Fine, fine, that's all I need. Now I must get back to the hotel. Professor, I do hope you'll excuse Marion. She's not really. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure at heart, Marion is just as lovely as yourself. Good day to you, Winnie Peru. Has he gone? He has, and I hope not forever. Darling, don't you ever think of your future? Gary Conservation Class of 05, now darling. Now, Mama, Shirley Girl's future doesn't depend on encouraging a fast-talking, self-centered, woman-chasing traveling man who comes to town. The fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right, all right. Only it's a well-known principle that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in another, you'll never strike much of a fire. Mama! <laughs> Winthrop? Winthrop! Winthrop, please go to the library to ask Miss Grubb to give you the book I set aside, okay? It's the Indian State Education Journal. It's a large brown volume with black corners. Do I have to? You won't have to say a word. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. Now what are you up to? Why do you need a book at this hour of the night? I have a feeling that the Indian Education Journal will help you poke some large holes in the professor's claims. Oh, I give up. At your age, what kind of white knight do you expect to come riding along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Griner, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does? Or Ed Gamage in that buggy of his, with removal black seat. And I'm not waiting for a man in shining white armor, either. <laughs> My white knight, not a lancelot, nor an angel with wings, just someone to love me, who is not...
Zanita, hey Zanita. Tommy, Papa and Mama are right there in the bank. He gods. Okay, uh, then meet me after supper. I can't. It's Epworth League night. Meet you where? The footbridge. Isn't that just what I said? Last time the lumber yard, and now the footbridge. And where will you meet me next? The black hole of Calcutta, ye gods. I was just trying to show you my invention. What invention? <laughs> the music holder for the marching piccolo player. It still has a couple minor flaws, you see, but once you keep it tight enough to look at the music and wiggle your fingers, you cut off the circulation to your hand. Meanwhile, da 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 You could go blind. Tommy, it's Papa. Is that the first thing I said or not? Yes, George. Yes, the first thing, or I'll eat hay with a horse. Get that spellbinder's credentials. And now look, my wife is off dancing, attending all hours instead of in the home. But George! The school board is singing up street and down alley. My oldest girl is booting around with some wild kid. And my business has fallen off so far, I can't find the balance sheet. Mayor Shin, I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. Oh, I know all about that. In fact, it's all I can get out of him. Airy Conservatory, class of art five. If you'll just take some time to read a little bit about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look any further. It's on page. Papa, Papa, the Wells Fargo wagon is just coming up from the depot. The Wells Fargo wagon? The Wells Fargo wagon? Oh, like this. <laughs> this hour of the day? Nonsense. The Wells Fargo wagon? It could be the band instrument. The band instrument? <laughs> Oh, oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is up coming down the street. Oh, please let it be for me. Oh, oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is up coming down the street. I wish, I wish I knew what it could be. I got a box of maple sugar on my birthday. In March, I got a gray mackin And once I got some great fruit from Tampa. Montgomery Ward sent me a bathtub and a cross cut song. Oh, oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down is in a pre paid surprise or COD. It could be curtains or dishes or a tub or a Yes, it could be. Yes, you're right. It surely could be. Something special. Something very, very special now.
take the body with you. Oh, so beautiful girls. Now let's have a go at our Grecian urns. One Grecian urn. Keep your face to the audience. <laughs> Mr. Dunlop. It's you in the sun rising, you in my cup. It's you all the way into town. It's your sweet hello, dear, that sets me. And it's your got to go, dear, that gets me down. It's you on my pillow in all of my dreams. Till once more the morning breaks through. What words could be saner? Or truer or plainer than it's you, it's you. But a woman who wait till the third time around, head in the cloud, feet on the ground. She's a girl, he's glad he's found. She's his shapoopy, 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 shapoopy. The girl who's hard to get. Shapoopy, shapoopy, shapoopy. But you can't win her yet. Walk her there once, she'll raise the curtain, then you walk around twice and make for certain. Once more in the flower garden, she will never get sore if you beg your pardon. Squeeze her once when she is and looking. If you get a squeeze back, that's the man's cooking. Once more for a pass for upper, she will never get sore on her way to supper. Don't make me fall so lassi do don't. Now fiddle all the time with no gal as anyone could see. Look at her now, she's a go-gal who only go for me. Squeeze her once when she is and looking. If you get a squeeze back, that's me to cook it. Once more for a pad for upper, she will never get snore on her way to supper. Don't bring me fun, so lassie do
your hand off of my daughter! Papa! You know what, Mr. Shin? Your daughter and I have been going steady behind your back. Why, you? We do it in front of your back, but, you know... Do what? Oh, never mind. Well, Zanita scared you, but, but I'm not. I should think you'd hate to have your own daughter scared you. Gilly Clyde. Now I'm going to warn you once more. If I ever catch you touching my daughter, I'll by God horse with you till hell won't have it again. Now, George! Not one poop out of you, madam. I think he means peep. <laughs> public building as anybody. Right? How do you get any right around here, aiding and abetting the activities of the spellbinding symbol salesman? You know what I see written all over you? Reform school. Now get out! Get out, you wild kid! Papa, please! It's Capulets like you make blood in the marketplace! He does! You watch your phraseology. Go home, young woman! <laughs> George. You, Lily. You tend to your dance. My dance. I'll handle Zanita take it up with kids from the wrong side of town. Mr. Mayor, if I could just make you understand. Well, you can't. <laughs> and by the way, thanks for nothing. I read that whole book you gave me from cover to cover for a whole week now and didn't find a thing. Mr. Mayor, if you please. I'll settle your ash as soon as I get these premises off of my oldest girl. Yes. All right, in the meantime, I want you to know that I'm vouching for Tommy Gillis. That boy has all the confidence of every kid in this town. He'll be waiting in line to shake his hand by the time our band has played its first concert. By the time your band plays its first concert, the individual members will have to foregather in wheelchairs on account of the broken legs they'll get from tripping over their beards. Now let me tell you something, my fine feather, my feather, my feather. Never mind! Oliver, you were, JC, Oleg. I want that man's credentials, and I want him tonight. Don't let him out of your sight. He's slipperier than a Mississippi sturgeon. Do you mean you actually want us to get his credentials? Get his papers or get him in jail? I couldn't make myself any clearer if I was a button hook in the well water. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Hill. I think Mayor Shin has behaved abominably, and I think it was wonderful of you coming to Tommy's defense. Oh, that was nothing. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. A man can't dodge every issue, and a little personal risk is involved. What does the poet say? The coward dies a thousand deaths, the brave man only five hundred. <laughs> of course. I mean, I was pretty upset on the account of the billiard parlor. Oh, I suppose a recommendation of musical authority, like yourself, could help, but... Why, oh, I couldn't Professor think of asking you to do a thing like that. Why, Professor Hill? You would? I'd be glad to. I just wish I was a little more informed. I've been meaning to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. Ah, uh, his cornet. Mother of Pearl Keys. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, but you see, he never touches it. Oh, the first week or so, he made a few, uh, experimental blats, I guess you'd say. Yes, yes, blats. And he sings the minuet in G almost constantly. La, da dee da dee da 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 But he never touches the cornet. Well, you see. He tells me you told him it wasn't necessary. Well. He tells me about some think system. If he thinks the minuet in G, he won't have to bother with the notes. Now, Professor Hill, no, I... Miss been... Marion, I'll admit, the, rev the think system is a revolutionary new method. So was Bach's inception of the clavichord. Hmm. Now, I can't talk about these things here in public, but if you'll allow me to call... <laughs> when may I call? Why, any night this week? Big a little talk a little, big a little talk a little, chip, 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 talk a lot, big a little more. Big a little talk a little room. You must turn on those talks a little bit. You are so dear tonight, dancing the ship with Professor Hell. You dance like a fairy princess with a twinkling toy of power. Get a golden shimmer in her hair and silver shades for all to see. We know that you will soon unfold a forgiving heart of purest gold here, where a woman's heart should be. Tick, 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 tick,
We've all been deputized. Yes, congratulations. Now let's see. I tried to give you fellows my credentials all week, but every time we meet, we seem to get off the subject somehow. Hmm. Well, I have just what you need over in the hotel. Give me a minute. Sorry, afraid I'll have to go along with you. All right, let's see if I have my key. What's this? A testimonial from Madame Rennie? The only female bassoon player to ever pl appear on the Red Path circuit? Her stage name, of course. She was from Moline. Lied to Rose Quackenbush. <laughs> Could I see that for a minute? Of course. Oh, you never forget that old name. Lied to Rose. Same as the old song. <laughs> Lied to Rose, I'm home again, Rose. To get the sun back in the sky. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose. About a thousand kisses shy. Ding dong ding. I can hear the chapel bell chime. Ding. Suggestion. I'll pop the question. Light a rose, I'm home again, Rose, without a sweetheart to my name. Light a rose, now everyone knows that I am hoping you're the same. So here is my love. Not fancy or fine. Light a rose, oh, won't you be mine? Light a rose, oh, light a rose, oh, light a Yeah. 
Will you ever stop arguing with yourself? Will you ever tell him? Won't you ever tell him? Ah, yes, ah, no. Ah, fiddlesticks. Just open your mouth and let it come out. No, Mama. Now, nothing. If he ever comes to call again, you see him alone. And if you haven't the gumption to tell him how you feel... Tell him? Well, there's nothing wrong with a lady like Hent. Mama! Winthrop, where have you been? Fitted. Fishing? But tell it. You mean Professor Hill? Mm-hmm. Look, I don't have the mom dress. Did you have a good time? Scrumpted. He told me all about his hometown gear in Indiana. And he said he'd take me there, don't he? And he taught me a darn and I taught and he acted in it. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, that's the town that knew me when. If you'd like to have what you could for me, John, how I happened on a dog and think of it, John. I'll do them, Mama. Don't you have to change for the sociable? There's time later. Shins live around here? The Shins live on East Elm. This is West Elm. Criminy! I see you're the piano teacher in town. You must know about this fella Hill from a boys band here. Yes. Well, don't let it worry you no more. I got the goods on him in spades. Swiddling two-bit thimbwigger. That's why I gotta see Shins. I'm just passing through. Number eight only takes a 15 minute water stop. Wish it were 20. Would you like to concentrate five minutes on you, girly girl? Who are you? Name's Charlie Cowell, Anvil Salesman. But just now, I'm about to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity from the swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Mistake, my old lady's corset cover. That guy's been the raspberry seed in my wisdom tooth just long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me, and he spoiled it's not gonna spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you? You didn't see through him yet? He's no more I professor. I know all about that. Professors are always band directors. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director in his scholastic. Now, wait a minute. Did you say fine director? Have you heard one note of music from... Any band? No, but... But nothing, girly girl, he's never formed a band in his life, and he never will. He'll just listen to me for a minute. I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that if I had the time. I sure got the inclination. <laughs> but I got to grab this dynamite and leave it on the way with some of the depot. Bye, girly girl, see you next time through. You'll never make the train at the depot. You'll have to catch up the crossing. No, sir, I've got to leave where I can see you ain't the one to leave it with. Now, just a moment, Mr. Cowell. Um... You don't know me yet. Is that an invitation? I mean, I don't know you, and... Yes, I need more time anyway. I mean, as well as I'd like to. No trouble there, girly girl. I've never met a man who sells anvils before. That's something, well, quite different. It takes a real salesman, I can tell you that. Anvils have a limited appeal, you know. <laughs> what am I doing? I missed that train. I'll lose my job. I got to leave word about the fella Hill. Leave word with me. Not on your tin type. How do I really deliver these papers? Try me. <laughs> now there's your train. Run for it. Why, you double dealing little. Who do you think you're protecting? That guy's got a girl in every county in Illinois. It's taken away from every one of them. That's 102 counties. Either one of them should the last of me, girly girl. Ding dong. 
can hear the chapel bell chime. Ding dong ding at the least suggestion. I'll pop the question. Liar Rose, I'm home again, Rose, without a sweetheart to my name. Good evening, Miss Mary Ann. <laughs> Rose, now everyone knows that I am hoping you're the same. So here is my love song, not fancy or fine. Light a rose, oh, won't you be mine? Light a rose, oh, light a rose, oh, light a rose. Talking to just why, Professor Hill. Top of the evening, Miss Pearl. Miss Marion. You two come up and set. I, I, I've got some jelly on the stove. But there's no jelly on the stove, Mama. Well then, I'll put some on. <laughs> Shall we set, as your mother said? Well, I. You did ask me to call. Did I? I didn't mean anything. No, Miss Marion. I'm not suggesting that your invitation inferred anything, but. Academic enlightenment. The think system? I've been by your house a time or two this week to explain it to you, but there always seem to be people around. Mostly ladies, I thought. Yes, Mrs. Squires and several of the ladies. Good, good. Wouldn't want anyone beating my time. He wouldn't know, ma'am. <laughs> well, it's evidently not the convenient night. I'll see you at the sociable later. Professor Hill, is it true that you've had a hundred? What I'm trying to say is... Yes? Is it true that you've developed a, a think system? Think system, yes, a think system. <laughs> it's really as simple as whistling. You don't have to think when you whistle. You just come up with a tune and have it come out clearly here. Try it before you have any questions. I take your word. Shall we set, as your mother said? Are all music teachers as dense as I am? All music teachers? I dare say you meet dozens, even a hundred. Well, I... Have they all been as fascinated as I have with the uh, thing system? Some more, some less. One lady even thought of the same system before I got to her town. She showed me a few refinements. I see. Have I said something wrong? Please, Professor Hill, don't let me keep you. You must have many more important things to do than explain the thing system to me. I can't think of one. And I must be very dull company for a man of your experience. Say, where'd you get an idea like that? One hears rumors of traveling salesmen. Now, Miss Marion, you mustn't believe everything you hear. After all, one even hears rumors about librarians. I suppose you're referring to Uncle Maddie. <laughs> Uncle Maddie? Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. No matter what they say, he left me an assured job so Mother and Winthrop and I would have some security. Surely you don't believe. Of course not. That's exactly what I'm saying. But why do you think people start these rumors? They reminded us. Jealousy. Jealousy mostly, I guess. And jealousy often creates rumors about traveling salesmen. What did you hear? Oh, nothing about you personally, just generally. What did you hear generally? Just that, but of course it stands to reason that that disappointment and jealousy can lead to, I mean, take you for instance and your attentions to, well, Customers and teachers might easily be misinterpreted, now mind they? Why? And so you say, if someone else were jealous, they could be downright lies, couldn't they? What could? Rumors and things. It just proves of that- Of course. You, it just proves <laughs> that you shouldn't believe everything you hear if you discuss things. Miss Marion, I'd be delighted to discuss anything in the world with you. But couldn't we do it sitting down? You do sit. Your legs bend and all, right? <laughs> We could sit on the porch steps. We could also sit on a large hollow log over at the footbridge. I couldn't think of it. I've never been to the footbridge with my in my life. Just to talk. I have to dress for the sociable. Then meet me in 15 minutes. I can't, please. Maybe some other time. My Maybe dear tomorrow. Little, my dear little librarian, pile up enough tomorrows, 
we find that you've collected a lot of empty yesterdays. I don't know about you, but I'd like to make today worth remembering. Oh, so would I. Footbridge, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Mama? What? I just told Professor Hill I'd meet him at the footbridge in 15 minutes. <laughs> Glory be, the saints be praised, it works. Oh, it does. I've been using the think system on you from the parlor. <laughs> Uniforms have arrived. The kids are in them already. People are gonna be screaming for music if the kids show up at the sociable. Yeah. Here's most of the dough. I got timing to collect it. He's holding the kids together at least to pretend to hold practice over at the lumber yard. All right, go get the rig. And I got it. All right, I'll meet you at the hotel in plenty of time. See you later, Mars. Hi, Miss Marion. You're late. But you said 15 minutes. Well, what I meant was you're about 26 years late. Took you all that time to get up to the footbridge with the fellow. If I'm being honest, it almost took longer. Oh. Halfway here, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think clearly when not under the spell of your salesmanship. Now, Miss Marion, surely you don't believe I've been selling you anything. No, you've given me something. That's why I decided to come. I don't recall giving. Oh, yes, you have. Something beautiful. That's why I came, and I'm glad. Please don't be afraid that I expect too much more. I know a traveling salesman can't stay put. I know there have been many ports of call, and there'll be many more, but that's no reason for me not to be grateful for what you've left behind for me. Mary and I...
Merrigan. There's a lot of things that you don't know about me. Psst. Hey, Greg! Excuse me, I'm expecting a cable from Hector Berlioz. This might be it. Now what? Who's the salesman here? Sounds like she's selling and you're buying. Are you nuts? I didn't know I wasn't gonna be able to leave tonight. Now go get the rig. She's so far off balance now you can't tell her from a cat boat in a hurricane. Listen, Buster Brown. I've come too far in the ranks of the skirmish. I'm not resigning without my commission. Now go get the rig. Never a dull moment in the music business. <laughs> now then, where were we? You're about to tell me what I don't know about you. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure we don't have to get into that just now then, do we? <laughs> no, we don't, Harold. Forever, for that matter. The librarian hasn't felt like doing much research lately, but she did plenty when you first came here. Oh, <laughs> about what? About Professor Harold Hill. Gary Conservatory of Music, gold medal class of Ot 5. Harold, there wasn't any Gary Conservatory in Ot 5. Why, there certainly- Because the town wasn't even built till Ot 6. I'll see you at the sociable. You knew the whole time? Since July 7th, three days after you came. I tore this page out of the Indiana Journal. It was originally intended to use against you, but now I give it to you with all my heart. But if you knew, why didn't you? You little. <laughs> With a hundred and ten cornets right behind. Then I modestly took my place as the one and only bass, and I oompahed up and down the square. Good night, my someone. Good night, my love. With a hundred and ten cornets right behind. Good night, my someone. Good night. Craig, this guy's crazy. He's going all over town, spilling everything. I'll say I'm crazy. Missed my train, Bobby. Lost my job, but I got you now, Hill, and you'll pay. You'd be in the clink right now if it weren't for that piano teacher. I told her all about you and what you do. Lily gags me until I couldn't get the shit little dried up man hungry ducks around your biscuit. Now watch your mouth, you dirty mouth. You big bully, you big blow up. I'll stay in this town till you get yours up, down, through, and sideways. Why, you never even know the territory! Here's your stuff, Greg. The rig's in the alley. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> while you're fiddling in the parlor. I'm talking about Harold Hill, highwayman, road agents, pickpocket. Pickpocket? Same thing, he's had his hand in your wallet, mister, and yours, met him in your facility ever since he first came in this town. There is more documented evidence than you'll ever have time to read. There isn't any band, there never has been any band, there never will be any band. And if you don't hunt this down, man down like a mad dog, there won't be any Harold Hill either. He'll be the next train out of town. Now will you believe me? Oh, what are we waiting for? I want my money back. Money back? I want his head. 
After him! And when you find him, bring him back here! Marion, I... Winthrop! Now wait a minute here, son. I'm not done with Gummy! Not until I talk to you for a minute. I want not and you and touch it anyway. I would too. Would not. Would too. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Can you read a band? No. Are you a big liar? Yes. Are you a dirty rotten cook? Yes. Please go me, you big liar. Now what's the matter? You wanted the truth, didn't you? No one bigger than you, so you're gonna quit wiggling. There's two things you're entitled to know. One, you're a wonderful kid. I thought so from the first. That's why I wanted you in the band. So you'd quit moping around and feeling sorry for yourself. What band? I think there's a band, kid. What's the other thing I'm entitled to know? Now that I think of it, the other thing really is none of your business. But you never t come to have a daddy. No, you don't, Winthrop. Did though you believe him? I believe everything he ever said. But he promised us. I know what he promised us. And it all came true. The lights and the colors, the flags and the symbols. Where was all that? In the way that every kid in this town walked around here all summer and looked and acted. Especially you. And the parents, too. Does Mama wish that he never came to River City? Well, you do, don't you? No, Winthrop. Now go, Harold, please. Go on, Perfetto, hold up. I can't go, Winthrop. Why not? For the first time in my life, I got my foot caught in the door. There was love all around, but I never Rest assured, this snake in our bosom would have been misapprehended. Yes, and always remember, I did everything in my power to stop this dire happening from, uh, happening. Or school. What have you done to get our money back? That professor collected nearly $300 from us just tonight in uniforms. And we haven't even seen the uniforms. He's slippery. I told you. I haven't seen any uniforms or my little girl since just after supper. He's a kid in that park. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. yeah! Just a minute. Virtue has triumphed. The sword of retribution has cut down Professor Harold Hill. And if there are those, as I have heard, who are melting tar and plucking feathers, I shall not say them nay! Well, I should also think that some of you could forget our everlasting I was stubborn chip on the shoulder arrogance long enough to remember River City before Harold Hill arrived. Do you remember? Well, do you? Surely some of you ought to be grateful for what he's brought to River City. And if you think it, you ought to admit it. You're wasting a great deal of time. If there is someone who does not think this man Hill should be tarred in feathers, let them step forward. You lazy get back. <laughs> All right, and the rest of you stand in there like a coat of Shropshire sheep. Have you forgotten how you bought high-priced band instruments, technical instruction books, and high-priced uniforms. Have you forgotten the clear understanding and warranty that your children will be taught to play in a band? Well, where's the band? Where's the band? There's... All right, kids, think. Thank <laughs> you.